This episode of Leap TV is made possible by MyLeapTools.com. Are you a small business owner that has from zero to 12 employees? And are you looking for great, valuable insights, whether them being branding or business growth strategies that will give you an edge over your competitors? Well, My Leap Tools is for you. Coming up on Leap TV, a branding lesson from our friends at WestJet. And this week's performance tip, the key ingredients that you need to build a thriving brand. I'm Isabel Mercier, and this is the show that shows you that small, intentional, and consistent actions lead to massive results. A while back, I had a very unfortunate situation happen on a WestJet flight. Now, this could have been a really, really bad situation to the point where they could have lost me as a client. But the way in which they've reacted and actually helped the situation was so good that I thought of sharing this with you guys because I think it's a perfect example of what to do. Hello, Vanna. Hello, Jamela. So great to have you both uh, on Leap TV. And uh, first of all, let me just tell my viewers um, who you guys are and how we met. Um, I met Vanna, the, uh, the person on the right. Hello, Vanna. Say hello to my viewers. Yeah, and Jamela on the left. Um, I met them in Montreal on a WestJet flight uh, at the airport. And um, quite, uh, quite, the, uh, quite the story here, without going into too many details, um, we had quite the bad experience with uh, the beginning of this whole uh, getting into the flight. My partner, Margarita, had been operated a couple of days before our flight. Um, and I was just trying to get uh, a, a better seat for Margarita, and I shared a little bit with the uh, flight attendants of what, what had been happening in her operation. And uh, the captain decided that it wasn't uh, safe to actually have Margarita on the flight that day, which obviously was not fun to hear. It wasn't fun to be in that situation. And it not only was more difficult on Margarita, but uh, because of all the transport and now we were stuck in Montreal. And, but it was also really difficult. We had a big week ahead of us and needed to reschedule a whole whack. So I was an emotional mess, probably more than the operated patient, really, eh, Vanna? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and, um, and what could have been a really bad experience, what could have left a really bad taste in my mouth, uh, and I understand that safety comes first, I get that, but, you know, the doctor had given us uh, a green light to fly, to fly, but had not written that on a paper. The only paper that we had was in case Margarita did not feel up for the flight, uh, we had a paper that said she's not, uh, she's not fit to fly, so that we wouldn't lose our flight, obviously, right? And uh, so that kind of worked a little bit against us. But the beauty about this whole experience is, one, Vanna. Uh, Vanna is the care service agent uh, for, uh, for WestJet in Montreal. And uh, Jamela is the Dooney manager. And Vanna, I have to say, you made my day. And I'm glad I did. Yeah, you did. You made my day. And the reason why I wanted to have you both on Leap TV today is to share with my viewers, with I call them my leapers, um, what, why, what is different about WestJet and about the culture um, to allow you guys to make decisions, to move forward in making a, a, a a customer's day because what happened is Jamela you offered you know then Vanna you went to Jamela and you said you know these these gals are just they're not doing well and this is a bad situation that they're in what can we do to help them um, and so I want you to talk a little bit about that experience Vanna um, so that we can share with our with our leapers how that comes about uh, when you have a strong brand culture well, it's for us, anyways, for myself, and I guess for a lot of our West Shedders, it's just putting yourself in our guest situation. And at the time, I saw you and uh, Margarita, and uh, you know, you needed that help, and it was easy. It just came, it just uh, came over me, and uh, it was something that would I would have done with any other guest. Just make your life a lot easier, 
and uh, you know, at the end of the day, make you happy and give you what you need. And that's all it was, is putting myself in your shoes and what I would need at that time. That's all it was, it was straight from the heart. Straight from the heart, and I felt that. And from, first of all, for, for the viewers, what they ended up uh, proposing to us is instead of putting poor Margarita on, a, on another flight, once we got the okay written from the doctor, um, you know, instead of waiting uh, for a different flight, a flight that wasn't direct or that wasn't ideal for us, uh, Jamela, you had proposed to... Um, you know, kind of uh, put us in a hotel and just rebook us on that same early flight the next day, which was a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare uh, for you guys to organize. But, you know, what was your, yeah, how did you come about to just go, hey, we need to go, we need to go to that step with these two ladies? Yeah, um, for us, it's all about our guests. And at WestJet, we don't look at our, we don't call our, our passengers passengers, we call our passengers guests. And there's a reason for that because, as Vanna said, we look to make your experience as stress free and as easy as possible. And I, I just arrived that morning actually. Right. And <laughs> literally just arrived. And Vanna came over and told me a little bit about your situation. And I was just looking to find a way to do what was best for you and best for WestJet at the same time. So um, it was, it was just, continuing on the premise that we always have here of empowerment and and I trusted Vanna's judgment and I trusted that she definitely invested a lot of time and and really that caring to mm -hmm. really make sure that you guys got that service that you needed and I was just there to back her up and and I'm glad I was able to do that well thank you because and even for for Vanna's um uh, in Vanna's sake, and I love your title, Vanna. It's not customer uh, service agent. It is care service agent, which, which actually represents, really gives a good representation of how WestJet, WestJetters think. And I like that. And Vanna, you know, it wasn't just about staying at the counter and organizing a different flight. You, you stayed with us. Um, you, you, you helped us go to the lounge. Um, you came back to, to get us later on uh, f with options that we didn't even ask for. Mm -hmm. So you went above and beyond. And it wasn't just, you know, oh, the customer or the guest is really in need right now. It was also I know that there's, they're in need right now, and an hour later, let me just go find them in the airport and uh, see how they're doing. And that was something, as a brand builder, this is what I do for a living. I create customer experiences and brands for a living. And so I'm a little bit jaded on the subject. You know, it takes a lot to impress me. <laughs> and uh, and what I loved about you guys, it was it wasn't the big oopla. It wasn't like, oh, you've been able to put me on a different flight. We expect that. We know as guests and as customers that you're not going to let us stranded in a in a in a city that we don't live in. Um, right. But it's all the little things, you know, coming to to see us, giving us some food vouchers when we didn't ask for any. Because truly, Vanna, did I ask you for anything? No, no, you didn't. We didn't you ask didn't. for anything. And I no. think that that is, of course, you know, when I'm sure when you work with guests that are extremely demanding and expect, um, of course, it's, it's, it's still your duty to help or your, your passion, more than duty, but passion to help. But isn't it a lot more fun to help people that appreciate and don't expect? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and no it's doubt. about like our values are about caring and yeah. showing that we care, mm -hmm. being friendly and showing that we care, and that personifies each and every one of our our care service agents. Like it's from the soul, from the heart, and and that's definitely what what was felt here, what was experienced here on both sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that to link this for small business owners here, how I could link this is, you know, we, you have a set of values that you stand by. Um, and mm -hmm. I found some of those values online. Uh, this was possibly an older, uh, an older file, but safety is obviously at the top of the line. Yes. Positivity, positivity and passion, uh, being appreciative, fun and friendly, 
and to align customers, uh, customer and corporate interests so that it's a win-win for both parties, which is, I, I believe is very healthy, and honesty and openness. And when you have a set core values that you believe in and that you live on a daily basis, what I think WestJet does really well, and I don't mean WestJet as in the company, but WestJet is you too and the people that are working with you, is you don't take that set of values um, as, as um, uh, first of all, it's not just a set of values that are gathering dust in a document on the shelf. You guys live them. And, and also, you don't just live those values in the flight. You live those values around, above, under, and beyond. Uh, anytime a customer touches, remotely comes 10 feet away from, uh, 100 miles away from the brand, you can still feel that care. And my question to you, Jamala, is uh, what, from, from the top, from the CEO, from the company at the top, what sort of empowerment do you have to really be able to make those decisions when a guest needs, needs your help? How, how are you being empowered to do that? Well, empowerment is a big, big, huge thing with mm -hmm. us at WestJet, and that's probably it one shows. of the yeah, one of the first things we instill in our in our teams is empowerment, and this is how it's defined for me. And I, I've started WestJet ten years now, and it's doing what's best for the guests and doing what's best for WestJet at the same time, and making those two align. And that's our challenge and our our goal every day in whatever the situation may be. That's what we look to do. So, and it starts as you said. It starts from our CEO. Our our executives are on board. They breathe, sleep, and eat our values, and it just cascades to all levels of everyone in our company. And I bet you that a result of, as a result of that, when you make a decision, some decisions are fantastic, some decisions are, they're okay, and some decisions are just, well, you know, less than okay. But at the end of the day, I bet you that the people above you support you in whatever decisions that you're making. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, as you said, there's been times where a decision may not have been the best decision, but as long as it is, is, is rooted in those core values, it really is a good decision at the end of the day. And that's, that's our focus. That's what we live for. I tell you that had it not been for Jamela and Vanna, uh, our experience of that particular flight and day, which turned out to be a few days of, of hell, uh, possibly even a week of hell due to due to this incident, um, mm -hmm. had it not been for you really leaving me as a guest and as a customer with a much, much better experience, like Vanna, all the way to waiting for the bus to get to the hotel, waiting with us to make sure that it gets there. Um, that I call dedication. And without that, I can guarantee you that it would have taken quite a bit for me to, to be on a WestJet flight again because uh, it, it, the, the issue could have been avoided um, and it wasn't. Um, so for example, I had phoned WestJet the night before to let them know what was going on, to let them know the gravity of the situation, but it was okay to fly and I wanted to make sure that it was okay with everyone and I was given the green light. But on the tarmac, that that decision was reverted. And I thought, oh, you know, I did everything I could to alleviate this situation. So had it not been for you reverting and, and really taking care of that on a human level, not on a business level, on a human level, um, mm -hmm. I, I would have probably flown with WestJet again because it is uh, a great airline and, um, and it's, you know, it's, it, this was one bad experience out of, or, or challenging experience out of all the experiences that I've had with WestJet, but that one was big enough to make a dent, and you both were able to completely, not only make me uh, proud and happy to first have met you and have gone through this, but you have made me a fan, a fanatical fan forever. Oh, that's sweet. That's, so, that's, that's, that's nice. touching, that's, that's very warming. Touching. So, we're glad to do that for you. Well, you know, and I mean, and I know that you would do that for not just me. I mean, you didn't know, you didn't know who I was. You didn't know no, I didn't. that I had an online TV show. You had, you knew nothing about that. And, uh, and, and I know that had I been, you know, just, uh, 
obviously, as I am a regular gal, a regular customer, a regular guest, um, I, felt, uh, I felt taken care of, which, uh, which is more than I can say for a lot of other brands, known brands that don't treat uh, the customer interaction or the guest interaction as well as you guys do it. So I just wanted to kudos you in public. And uh, so much. Yeah. we use that around here, kudos. So. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, so, Jamela, what would be what would be one tip or one gem, one insight that you could share with our viewers um, about the importance of living and breathing values? Well, for us here, values, it brings everything together. It's the reason why we get up early in the morning. We're here at 3 o'clock in the morning. We're here until 2 o'clock. Wait, that's 24 hours. Hold on. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> I'm sure it happens. <laughs> that's why our people are here is because... It brings everything together and it makes us have focus and know why we do what we do. And it helps to guide decisions. It helps to make you feel that what you're doing is for value and for worth. And it just livens everything up. If we didn't have those core values that were meaningful to us, and it wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same. And something that you said that's very important that I want to reiterate is it provides you with focus. And that is the key. A lot of small business owners, you know, are not clear on their values. They're not clear on their promise and their measurable accountability to their guests and their customers. And what I've heard here is that it provides, uh, it's almost like a guiding light. It provides you know, focus for you to be focused on what is important and to be able to deliver on what is important. Absolutely. 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 That is so cool. Thank you so much, you guys. I know you're in Montreal. I know you're three hours ahead. Um, I'm so happy that you've been able to uh, be on Leap TV and to share some of these uh, great gems with our viewers. So hopefully, we'll see each other again. And, yes. Uh, yes, we will. And it's, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Bye. 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 Thank you so much, Vanna and Jamela, for taking the time. What what a great company to work for. Hey, are you guys hiring? I might actually be interested. Now, let's look at from that interview, what are the gems? What is the lesson here? Well, the first thing is, one, the better, the clearer you are about what you stand for, the more able you're going to be to empower your employees or empower yourself to make the right decisions along the way. Here's a little something I saw on their website that I thought it was totally worth sharing with you guys. It's about their core values. Sure, it's our planes that fly you places, but it's our people who get you there. In fact, our entire corporate culture has been built around caring for you, our guests, by providing a world-class guest experience. It's that commitment to caring that has seen us be awarded the title of Canada's most admired corporate culture three years in a row. What we say in our ads is actually true. Owners do care. The bottom line is this. Vanna and Jamela were able to turn the situation completely around. They took me from, I'm pissed off and I never want to fly with WestJet again, to I can't believe the way they've handled the situation so well that I have become one of the most fanatical fan of WestJet. Sure, did it cost them a few hundred dollars? Absolutely. In my book, this is money well spent because I am a customer for life. So because of that reason, I tell you, thank you WestJet for being such a brand hero. Now, Leapers, I would love to spark a conversation around some of the greatest customer experiences that you've experienced lately or years ago for that matter. Whether you were the client experiencing it or you were the company providing it, I want to hear about it. All you have to do is add it as a comment below this video at LeapTV.com. of great customer experiences, there are, in my opinion, 10 rituals to really get you to build a good thriving brand. And whether you're a small business owner or a larger corporation, 
there is a, there is a secret and a, um, a recipe for building this. If you want to know more about what those key, 10 key ingredients are, go to myleaptools.com under the branding category. You will find there a tutorial named The Secret to Building a Thriving Brand. It will divulge the 10 secrets to it and it will help you really realign what you're doing to get you from possibly surviving to thriving. If you're not already a Miley Tools member, here's a code for you. It'll give you instant access and it'll give you two free months on your year subscription. Check it out. If you've liked this week's episode, which I hope you have, I hope that you're gonna spread the love. And I'm pretty sure you have a question for me. If you do, what are you waiting for? Just click on the Ask Isabel button at leaptv.com. And don't forget to share your comments and insights. I wanna hear from you. Alrighty, Leapers, that is what I had for you this week. As you know, everything you've learned here this week will do squat for you, unless, of course, you implement it. So do yourself a favor. After this video, not before, take action on what you've learned today because it's not about what you know, it's about what you do with what you know. And remember that it's much easier to do it than it is to dwell on it. I'm Isabelle Mercier, and I invite you to connect with me via Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. I look forward to next episode with more goodies for ya. See you next time. This episode of Leap TV is made possible by, yes, myleaptools.com. That's right, I'm telling you. I'm just f***ing up so that I don't f*** up the next one, right? <laughs> you don't need to call my last movie. You don't need to call my last movie. I'm just f***ing this one up. Just so the next one is fine. <laughs> Coming up on Leap TV today, a branding lesson in customer service from the folks at um, WestJet Airlines. Yes, WestJet Airlines. Oh, oh we so <laughs> have to do this again. Yes, WestJet Airlines. Ooh, <laughs> what, 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 what? Yes.